Welcome back to part two of Introduction to Poetry, The Poem Project. So we just covered, in part one, we just covered the overview of what you need to do, the, the length of time that it should take, and the fact that we should have, have enough time to include some small degree of anxiety, frustration, etc., cetera, which, which goes along with any, any type of project like this. So I'll just ask you to be patient. Um, the idea here is, well, there's two, two thoughts. One is I typically do a presentation in class when we have face-to-face -face classes, but, and I didn't want to lose this, this opportunity for students to, to teach a poem. So I want this to be your opportunity to teach a poem, but you also have the added opportunity to explore how to use some new resources. Again, I use Screencast-O-Matic here because it has a 15 minute limit, um, but you're welcome to use other resources. Screencastify, as far as I know, had a five minute limit. It might be a 10 minute limit. Um, your project only needs to be a five minute minimum so so either either one should should be fine for you so what I would like to do next is jump back into the uh, blackboard and pick up where we left off so as we said we have all these resources here we've gone over the the project PDF um, the first due date will be uh, you submitting your proposal and your annotation. Then you will, on the following due date, you'll be submitting your script, which is going to be for your presentation. Uh, let's jump ahead. The final due date is really just uh, the project and response paper are due. Again, this is all going into the Collaborate button because this is something that I want you to be able to share with your classmates. So all this stuff is right over here. Here's the first thing you need to do is your proposal, the annotation, and then posting your uh, project is just going to go right here. Okay. Uh, one thing we have not looked at yet is the response paper piece. The response paper is similar to the first one except here you're just talking about one poem and so uh, the guidelines here are going to match up with the with your the other piece the the digital piece because it's the same um, this the same information and so as i said for this for this one you get to choose any poem any time period so i've had students do petrarchan sonnets from the 1500s um, up and I've had other students do Instagram poets who are posting their poetry on a daily basis. And so if you do someone like that, you're going to have a little bit more trouble finding biographical information, but I'm sure you can find some, some information out there. And what we're going to do next is look at some of those resources. Um, but again, please do not choose a poem we discussed in class. Uh, we're looking at about three pages for this response paper. Looking at form and content, you need to include three short quotations from the poem itself. Again, this should not use any, um, this shouldn't have to use any research, really. I want this to be, uh, besides finding the poem itself, once you have that poem in front of you, I just want you digging into it and using all of the, look back at the screencasts, uh, or I'm sorry, look back at the slideshow you guys have made, look back at the summaries and um, use all that information. Here's some formatting information. You can see this example of how to include a, a quotation from your poem using a slash to show a line break. Always tell me which line numbers, because I'll just look your poem up in a book or online. Uh, wherever I look it up, it's going to be the same, same line breaks. Um, again, use all of the information we've used so far. Um, Plagiarism will result in an F, so please just do your own work. Remember that we have this three-part structure. You're going to look at the historical part of the poem. You're going to look at the aesthetic and artistic. And then what is this author's philosophy? Um, how does the author fit into the time period? 
um, that, that she or he is writing in. Okay, now let's jump back quickly and take a look at some of these resources. So what is an annotation? Again, we have looked at this, um, but I just want to point it out to you. Here is an annotation that a student submitted a few semesters back quite a level of detail. You could see the student even used some color coding and um, a key, created a key to develop. And the more you, the more you break it down, the more you're going to have to have to talk about. It. You can see just this short poem. Um, the student has so much to, to explore. Okay. And so that is your, um, that is an example of annotation. Now, I do have a list here, which is just very limited, but it's poets that I um, have enjoyed over the years. This is a, a list if you want to jump into some things um, that that are um, that I I've enjoyed, and you can find find these all easily online. Uh, but also jumping into button poetry, which is sort of mostly focused on poetry slam. Um, type poetry. So what I would say is go through, try to find something that appeals to you, something that gets you excited or um, kind of fired up, and, and that's gonna gonna energize your um, energize your presentation. You could include, if you're doing a, a screencast, you could include a short clip of the poet reading his or her work. Um, that's that's a definite possibility. But also remember we have Poetry Foundation and PoetryPoets.org and there's just so much in here um, to look at. And so you're just looking for one poem. So, so don't overthink it, but find something that, you know, that you're excited about. All right. And so we, what have we done so far? We went over the, the project, which I, the, again, the project has, has these uh, three pieces. There's posting your annotation. There's the response paper portion, which will be just like in paper number one. You're going to develop it in Google Docs, share the Google Doc to my Gmail on the due date. And then the, the digital aspect, which is your screencast or YouTube video. Um, if you've never done either, that's why I put these here. So here's how to videos, how to um, make a screencast. This is a, this is simple but it's all the technical stuff how to create an account you know you just create an account through your your uh, google account here's an example of how to do a video um, and now down here are the mentor texts and these are examples so here is an example of a screencast here is an example of a video but i encourage you to go out and find more find things you like things you don't like and come up with something that you're you're pleased with again you're looking for a five minute minimum on this and um, you should um, you should have plenty of time plenty of time to do this and so that is all I have for you again everything it, all these resources are in blackboard we're gonna um, ease into it if we have some struggles in the beginning some students might find it right away a poem that appeals to them and 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 get started and and get their script to me and then at some point, at that point, maybe another student is still not even finding their poem. So we'll all be working at different different stages here, but make sure that you follow the guidelines here. Reach out to me if you have any questions, and uh, I really look forward to hearing what hearing what you have. So again, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Have a great day.